we should know why paneling of is required. When it comes to a power system, power transformers or distribution transformers are paneled because of the reason that first thing is that it is okay, it's more reliable in the sense that when three or four or n numbers of transformers are connected into parallel there may be a possibility that since it's a uh, equipment it's a static device it may go faulty if my total power system capacity is 100 mba suppose this is my total capacity of the system I can have a transformer of 100 MVM that will be very big size, no issues. But I can have a single transformer, no issues. But that will be not reliable at that time. Maybe possible that some time it will be go 40. So my whole 100 MVM system will go down. And that is not desirable. So what I can do, I can have 10 numbers of 10 MVM transformer which will be equal to 100 MVM transformer. So even though my 1, 2 or 3's <coughs> go faulty or I have taken those out of the service for the maintenance activities then also I will be getting at least 70 MVM of the uh, total output to meet the demands so to, rather than my total system has gone down only 30% of the system has gone down right now second thing is that I can have the future expansions also future expansion in such a way that uh, now after 10 years my uh, system capacity has increased from 100 MBA to 150 MBA now. I cannot replace my 100 MBA transformer now I uh, will be putting 150 MBA transformer. I cannot do that. What I do rather than again putting that 100 M 150 MVA transformer directly, I will be using 15 different transformers or so, whatever be the denomination. I can have you know, 20 MVA transformer also, I can have 10 MVA transformer, 5 MVA, whatever. Such that my total capacity is matched. So, more number of transformer will be there, more the reliability of the total system will be there. So that is more reliable. Future expansion, I've said, as I said, that in the future when uh, the demand is growing up, I can have the future expansion of the total power system. So, this is also important regarding paneling of transformers. Uh, third, very important point is more economical. My whole system is now more economical when I am using 15 number of 10 MVA transformer to match the capacity of 100, 150 MVA. Because 15 number of 10 MVA transformer will be much more cheaper than a single 150 MVA transformer. This, these three points are very important regarding the paneling of the transformer. Now, coming to the conditions of the transformer, how they are paneled. Very first condition is that the transformer which is coming into parallel should have same voltage ratio. Means the terms ratio uh, should be the same, at least same. The second thing is that Per minute leakage reactance of the transformer should be equal.
थर्ड पॉइंट इज एक्सी बाय आर रेशियो शुड बी सेम दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अगेन Finally, the fourth is polarity of the incoming transformer should be same. So, since I have written this thing in red, why? Because that the first three properties are the desirable properties these three are the desirable these things are desirable if these things are not met it, the paneling of the transformer will be affected very less but the fourth property is called as the essential property there is a difference between a desirable property and essential property that desirable property if not met will not affect the paneling of the transformer but when it comes to essential property which is the polarity of the incoming uh, transformer should be same as that of the in service transformer so this is called the essential property these are called the desirable property now coming to the desirable properties again if the voltage issues are not same then there will be a uh, circulating current in the secondary same with this same with this but if the polarity is not same then the whole ratio will go down we'll see how suppose my in service voltage is 1500 volts suppose and my uh, the transformer which is coming in to play now is having 150 volts now if i say that when i connect when i want to connect the transformer with 1500 volts but obviously i want to increase the rating of the total total rating and the voltage at the kp i am talking about in voltage right now 1500 kv or 1500 volt whatever our understanding would be so when i want to connect this 150 volt transformer to 100 1500 uh, volt transformer but obvious i want that it should become 1650 not 1350 so if the polarity of this transformer is equal to this transformer then i'll be getting 1650 otherwise i'll be getting 1350 which is not desirable which is actually decreasing the total system capacity so this is called the essential property of the transformer so when i talked about the desirable property i said that there will be a circulating current i see how much that would be E A minus E B upon Z A minus Z B. This is equivalent when I am talking about two transformers. Then when two transformers are parallel and there is a circulating current, that circulating current would be this much. And this is very important uh, formula. We should learn this. We should learn this by heart. Another formula for this one is that when two transformers are connected in parallel, S A stands for 
the capacity, uh, KVA capacity or KVA load taken by a single transformer when the total load is S into ZT upon ZA plus ZB. In the same fashion, I can have SB also, which is S into ZA upon ZA plus ZB. This formula is also important regarding solving of KVA uh, questions, KVA supplied by single transformer, like uh, the total capacity of the transformer is given and the ZAZ is also given. This question will be doing uh, preceding topics. Uh, the third thing is the current IA. At this point, how much current a single transformer will be taking? Mm. This is the circulating current, total circulating current of the total voltage transformer. And then talking about the single transformer primary, then I can have the formula like I A equal to I into Z P upon Z A plus Z P. I can have the B also. I B is equal to I into Z A into um, uh, divided by Z A plus Z B. I can have that formula also. These three or four formulas are very important regarding parallel operation of transformer. These are uh, very important in, in regarding objective time also and as well as the subjective time also questions. Another phenomenon which we will be discussing now is called a magnetic magnetostriction. Magnetostriction. What is magnetostriction? We have seen uh, two blades working in a, a home. They are sometimes giving uh, humming sound. Uh, same is with the transformer also. Sometimes they give uh, humming sound that is not desirable. And uh, what exactly is happening in magnetostriction? That uh, we have studied the pH curve when the core are getting magnetizing same in this direction they get elongated and when they are demagnetized they get compressed so that is very minor but when it comes to this phenomenon magnetostriction that is very important so in increasing and decreasing length of the uh, uh, lamination of the core uh, there is a side difference between the varnish of the two uh, laminations, so there is a humming sound coming out of that, that is called the magnetostriction. So that is not desirable. So what are the uh, things which can decrease magnetostriction and this magnetostriction can be decreased by First thing is use using less flux density and second thing is proper tightening of the core So magnetization can be decreased by first of all using the less flux density core, uh, less flux density actually and uh, second thing is that the proper tightening of the core. If the core is properly tightened then the, uh, there is no humming sound and there is no magnetostriction in the core. 